What's up, man? It's a big shot. Well, first off, how'd the Gatorade bath feel? I know you're kind of maybe a little bit upset because the Gatorade kind of stinged your white pants. They got me. I hid the back of that dugout a long time. They finally found me. You talk about your staff all the time. What does it mean to be able to accomplish it with those guys that really you've had since day one? Well, I was just talking to Todd Golden, you know, in our interview, and the first thing I told him that you've got to recognize the guys behind the scenes and they do so much for this. Brian Smiley, Jordan Tiggs, Brad Vanderglass. You know, those are quality, quality young coaches that do so much, so much in terms of this program and the day-to-day -day and recruiting. And uh, obviously, a big piece of this is them. This doesn't happen without guys like that. And we've had, we've been able to keep them. The continuity of the staff is really important. And then the players. I mean, you're really proud of the way they competed. You know, I just wish. Uh, Everybody had the opportunity to watch that today. I just, I watched a group of young men that worked their tails off all fall, whether it be the weight room, whether it be on the field, and I watched coaches pushing them all the time to get better and to work harder, and to see it come to fruition out here on the field is just a really gratifying moment. Yeah, I don't think this is a fair question for you because you're, you're in the heat of the moment just winning it, but can you think of a day during your time here, and maybe even back to when you played, when you've been an assistant, where you've just seen a team just perform at the level you did. You know, I felt your group really went out and won those two games. It wasn't because of necessarily mistakes on the other yeah. side. It's it's been a while, but you know, you said the last time we won it was '95. You know, that that team won two games in one day against uh, what was Southwest Missouri State, is Missouri State now, and in a, in very similar fashion. So yeah, it's been a while, and it's probably why uh, you know it's been since '95 that we won it. But it's. It's really hard to come through that loser's bracket and do it this way. That's why, you, you know, you just don't see many teams with the resiliency and the toughness to do that, and, and this group has it. You know, and outside of Southern, I mean, the two teams you eventually had to beat were the co-champions of the league. Um, and a team that, look, you know, heading into today, you know, DBU won 14 of the last 15 in the series. They've really dominated the series. Not that I know there's a lot of respect that goes both ways, but. How big is it just to win two against a team that you know is going to be a quality of a team that now you're going to see from here on out when you get to the NCAA? Well, I think the first thing, if you can if you can beat that team twice the way we beat them today, you got to have the confidence you can walk into a regional and win it. I mean, you're not going to play anybody any tougher than that club over there and any, any more well coached. So I think that's the, the big thing that I, I take from it is that you're playing against a very high-level opponent and you've got to walk in here and you've got to beat them twice. And, by the way, you got to beat them with some guys that haven't had a lot of opportunity on the mound, and, and that's not easy to do. To be composed, and, that, and that's the other piece that was really impressive today, the composure of guys who haven't gotten a lot of opportunity but walked out there today in the biggest of moments and composed themselves and really contributed in a big way. What does it say about your group to be able to have, it seems like everybody's got a story that they're going to tell, and they can point to anybody on this team and say, I will never forget when Robbie made that diving catch. I'll never forget when Luke made a diving catch. I won't forget when CJ got his first home run. Uh, you can really go up and down and everybody everybody played a part, which I think is probably what makes this more gratifying. Well, I, a lot of people watch the games and they're up in the crowd and they don't get to really see the dugout and experience the dugout. But if you could have seen the embraces and the sincerity and the eyes and the the congratulations to one another and pulling for one another that I watched in that dugout today. Uh, it's it's really in the end what separates groups. Some just build that cohesiveness and that chemistry, and they they have it for life. And some teams you never you never quite get there. But it's a it's a selfless group. To get to that point, you have to be selfless and you have to push toward the team goals and put yours aside. Well, you knew you'd have to score because of the respect you have for the opponent. But did you really think you could get through this day? I think maybe using five pitchers total. You didn't have very many left, granted, but with what Evan Giles was able to do, with what Ridgeway who got a little wacky there at the end. Um, but it just seemed like everybody you threw in there for Morales in game one, it's just up and down. Uh, you really had it. I mean, again, everybody played a part in it. Yeah, I think the march started last night with Tyler Ward. And, you know, it carried into today. Uh, we, we throw Fry out there to start the game, and he hasn't had a lot of time on the mound, but we just wanted two innings out of him. We just wanted to shorten the game two innings. Uh, and then Morales came in, and we just wanted two innings, but we got a lot more than that. Uh, and then you go to game two, and 
that sixth spot was big because it kind of let everybody relax even a little bit more. And then Evan went out and was really good for us um, and gave us exactly what we wanted. Uh, and then Rich came in and was really good. Uh, I think in the last inning he wanted it too badly and <laughs> lost it a little bit. But uh, I, I can't say enough about those guys. I mean, we only – and Austin Cross came in last night. I mean, we, we didn't have a lot of available arms, and the guys knew it. And, and uh, thank goodness they, they performed the way they performed. You're not a big guy that talks about yourself. Uh, you've never been that way. But to be able to win a tournament as a player, to be able to now win was as a coach, what does that mean and that accomplishment for you for a program? I know you've been around for a long time. and Well, it's just a pride thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, a lot of pride in being a player at Indiana State, a lot of pride in coaching at Indiana State, and a lot of pride in these players that, that we coach. And I think ultimately it's it's holding up that pride that has been this program for so many years. That's what it means to me is that our alums and our former players and Coach Warren and those guys out there watching, it means a lot that we stand our program back up to the levels that, that we saw it years ago.